right, we're going to take a look at Pure Cloud Communicate. This is Pure Cloud's foray into voice, and this is the cloud based PBX. So I am going to log in. Okay, here we go. We're logging in. Now, of course, this is a web browser, and one of the nice things about the Pure Cloud Collaborate and Communicate is once you get Communicate, you have all the features of Collaborate. If you looked at the previous uh, video, we talked about the chat, the video uh, version. Now we're actually looking at Pure Cloud Communicate, which builds upon the Pure Cloud Collaborate uh, base functionality. Now, the only difference is that I've actually got the ability to have calls here. Now, with Pure Cloud, I have the ability to have a web based soft phone or web RTC phone or a traditional desk phone or hard phone. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to click on my profile here and I'm going to see that I'm actually configured for the WebRTC phone. So I'll call web phone, click OK and now I'm using my WebRTC phone. So I don't actually need any uh, physical phone itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save that and now what I have the ability to do is click on the calls button Okay, and in the calls button, first thing you'll see is I can have active calls. If I want to start a new call, I can press the plus sign here, or I can go to the dial pad. And the dial pad will allow me to use this as my soft phone so I can enter the digits in there. So if I wanted to call our office, and I hit enter, and now that's going to place that call. And I'm going to hit the dial. And now it's initiating that call. Oops, I called the wrong number. So let's call it again. So I'm going to go to my my readout list. Oop, I called the wrong number. All right. So if I wanted to call that number back, I could just click on the phone to do that. But I'll just go to the keypad again. Now I'll actually put in the right number. I can either go through the keypad as well. Nine zero five, and hit enter. Now it's going to start initiating the call. Now this is actually going to call our office number. Hopefully we can hear it in the background. Now one of the things I can do while this is dialing is I have the ability to do things like mute so they can't hear me. I can put the call on hold. I also have the ability here to, to record the call, add a participant, or transfer that call. Let's take it off hold. Thank you for calling Land Intelligence. Please note that your call may be recorded for quality assurance purposes. I'm going to put that call on hold. Now I also have the ability here to add a participant. So if I wanted actually a conference into somebody else, I know that I've got 2300 is an extension, and I'll call that extension. And now what it's doing, it's adding that second caller, which is this person right here. I'm going to pick up that phone. I'll just put on mute. So now what we have is we, and I'll put this on hold. So what we've got now is we've got uh, Lionel, who's on a phone call, and I've got a conference in with Rusty and also an external number, which is the intelligence number. So I take that off hold. We're going to hear it. But I also have the ability here to say, you know what? I want to transfer this call. I want to record the call. So I'm going to click record. If you know the extension you wish to reach, you may dial it at any time. To use our dial by name directory, press star. For the technical assistance center, press one. For sales, press two. Okay, so I stopped the recording, and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to drop this call. So now I've disconnected the call, and we have a three party conference, and the call has been recorded. Now, what I can see here is immediately my inbox there says one. So up here, I have my call history, I've got my dial pad, I've also got my inbox. So if I click on my inbox, I can have things here that show me. All voicemails that I have, any faxes, and recordings. So if I click on the recordings button here, this is the actual call that we just recorded and also shows up the notification here as well. So if I wanted to, I can click on this. It's going to download this file and then I can play it. Record. If you know the extension you wish to reach, you will download it. And I hit pause. If I wanted to download this copy, I could download it as well. And it's going to download a version of this that I can save to my desktop, put anywhere else that I want. Now that I've listened to it, I can mark it as here's the numbers that were involved. I can mark it as unread 
I can delete that recording. So let's say mark it as read, and it now shows up as a like a voicemail message. Okay, if I show all, or I should show voicemails. Now, so basically, I've gone back and I've done a conference call. Let's see what happens when I get an inbound call, and I'm not sure what uh, Lionel's phone number is. What you'll see is I actually have an answer in decline from Rusty Buckets, and I didn't answer that call, so it went away. So I'm going to place another call. Okay, here's the call coming in. I'm going to answer that call. Now I've answered that call. I'm just going to put it on mute so you can't hear me in the background. But what the other thing you're going to hear... But the other thing you're going to hear uh, or see is the fact that as soon as I initiate this call and receive it from Rusty Buckets, what you'll see here is underneath, it actually brings up any chat conversations that we had. So any chat conversations we had have shown up in the back. So underneath, so we actually have that in um, that chat conversation going on. So if we had to refer to anything that we'd recently talked about, we have it here. And again, right from here, I can go and add another user if I wanted to, or I can transfer this call. So I'm going to transfer it, but let's say that I want to transfer it to another extension, but I don't know who, so I'm going to type H. What happens is it's going to pop up, so I have four users. So these all have H's in their name. So I, or if there was a queue, so let's say that I want to transfer it to a service queue. I pop up users with service in the service group, and in the queues, it'll show me the users that are in the service queue if I can transfer it. So I'm going to go to just a transfer to a user. And I can transfer it to, I uh, can't transfer it to Rusty, but I can transfer it to uh, Mustang Sally. Uh, and then do a blind transfer. And now that call has left and it is now sent off to uh, Mustang Sally's phone. And you can see here that there it comes in, the call comes in, and it was transferred to, uh, to another user. All right. Now let's say that we wanted to change the phone because uh, Lionel's come in for the day and he actually wants to work from a desk phone. So what we can do here is we go into the profile. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to actually, um, Lionel who's been working on a web phone or web RTC client has now come into the office. And let's say for instance, extension 2300, which is uh, Ken's phone, he's not in today. So Lionel wants to actually go and change his phone. So he's actually going to go in here and he's going to type Ken and what you'll see is it actually shows that this extension is available to be reassigned to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to extension 2300. And now what happens is when I pick up that phone or I make a call, what you see is the call actually comes Welcome up. Welcome to the voice mailbox of Richard Tracy. Please record your message after. Now that call actually went to voicemail. So if I do this and I type 2300 and make that call, You'll hear it in the background ringing that I'm calling Rusty, Buc Rusty Buckets. And now that's actually using the actual phone itself. So I'll hang that up and I'll disconnect that call. And this is where I can actually go in and select my phone. So not only do I have my history, I got my dial pad, I have my inbox and show my recordings. I also have my phone selector. So if I wanted to actually change my phone back to a web phone, I type web and hit enter. It allowed me to test which uh, settings I want for my voice, my microphone. And once I've done that, I close it, I'm now back to my web phone. So that's um, pure cloud voice. This is the ability to sort of take calls, make calls, transfer calls, uh, even if I wanted to go into some of my favorites here. And there's Jill, and I want to make a call to Jill. All I have to do is click on her phone or go to her profile, click on the phone here, and I'm going to initiate a phone call to Jill's extension. Welcome to the voice mailbox of Jill Opey. Please record your message after the time. Unfortunately, she's not there, so I went to voicemail. So that's how I make those calls, right from Pure Cloud Voice.